Hello everybody and welcome back to X4 Foundations where we engaged. are just going to go ahead and dock at our station here. In the meantime, I have been doing a little bit of trading off off camera, not a whole lot. I, I've not had a lot of time to get that done. We're waiting on another trade here for the uh, price of the advanced electronics to drop a little bit. I want it to drop below a thousand credits before we purchase, but our our freighter is currently docked up at the advanced electronics factory and just awaiting that. Um. Uh huh. Docking grant autopilot engaged. I mean, we have a landing computer. But I guess that the autopilot doesn't want to dock. I don't actually know how to activate the landing computer. Maybe we have to be in the bay and activate the, the autopilot. It's a possibility, I suppose. Okay. Autopilot engaged. Nope. No. That's not how you do it. Okay. Well, we'll just get lined up, I guess. Need to drop down into the bay, of course. And then just back off a little bit. And I guess I'll manually dock and... Oh! We just have to get close enough, I guess. Okay, that's fine. So we will get up here and we are going to go to an elevator, allegedly. Yeah, we have docked at Unknown Station. Is, is this the elevator? Perhaps. Before we go into it, though, I want to just check in over here real quick on the prices on Advanced Electronics. They have not dropped yet. Okay. So, where are we going? It's still saying that we need to dock at the station. Elite Vanguard. Did it get confused? I guess we can try docking again because the quest didn't seem to update. Docking granted. Okay, let's try this again. So it kind of seems like with the landing computer we just need to get close enough. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, yep, that's close enough, I guess. Successfully docked. Okay, so here I am, docked at the station. Dock at unknown station. When I entered the system, he did say that I needed to get to an elevator after that after we've docked. So maybe there is a particular elevator? I'll be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Well, maybe we can just go to these locations and see what's here. This is the manager's office here. Now, of course, we don't have a manager currently, so there will be no one here. And I believe our benefactor will be in the science lab. Maybe? Hello. Aha! At last, we meet face to face. This installation is equipped for habitation of all races, and this room seems to be some sort of research area. I expect I could spend years poring over the data contained in these systems. Is there anything I can help with? Yes, I have already made some progress. There appears to be several things we can research at this facility. Please take a look. Okay, just so you know, that neck spinning is super weird. <laughs> we're, 
whenever we talk to him. Yeah, I'm going to question that. So we need to access a research menu. How do we do this? Is this in this menu? Yes. As you can see, there is much to do. I personally find mention of this teleportation irresistible, but I leave it up to you to decide what we research first. Please note that these research items have certain requirements. Mm-hmm. So they do. Interesting. This will allow you to gain blueprints by scanning leaks on certain modules. Okay. Same thing with that. Interesting. If we wish to improve the fundamental capabilities of a ship, we must first be able to tear it apart and put it together again. For that, we will need Nanite to help us develop effective engine modifications. We must be sure to have the best in antimatter sensor technology. You may expect the best to come from the scientific world, but no. It was the racing leagues who pushed sensors to new heights. To best develop shield technologies, you must first understand warfare. We will need to submit a craft to the rigors of real combat. I suggest we acquire a number of particle regulators so I can better test weapon components in a controlled environment. Okay, so there's quite a few different things we can do here. Do we need to pick one? Yeah, research any technology. Okay, so what are we most interested in here? I'm kind of interested in being able this to steal production modules. By scanning leaks on certain modules. Now, this will require quite a lot of resources to make happen. I will need some materials to get started. Yes, indeed you will. Okay. So we now need to extend the headquarters. Actually, I'm not going to go back to the ship immediately. I'm going to go to the trader's corner first. Because we did get that little bit of salvage. Can I help? Yes, here you go. potentially. Uh, let's see here. We have... Want to keep these. Oh, we have a micro motor. I guess we can sell. That's something. Good luck out there. Okay. Now we can head back to the ship. So we need to extend the headquarters and specifically... We need to complete this, uh, we need to complete this mission, or this research, and part of completing the research is to extend it. So, let's take a quick look here at the build. So we have this storage module that I queued up, but we haven't done anything with it. And the question actually is, what do we need to do here in terms of the extension? And I need to go to the map to figure that out. Not enough storage space. Okay, so we need to extend our storage, which is what I had already queued up. That's perfect. Let's check in on the price of advanced electronics over in this region over here. 10.16 still. Mm, I guess. We'll do it. Okay, and then we are going to sell it up here. It's only 146 that they need, but they really need it at the Argon Wharf. So we're going to sell it up over here for a profit of about 60,000. Excellent. So off goes our freighter, and in the meantime, we can start looking at this here. So we need 52 Claytronics, 189 hull parts, and 103 energy cells. And it's currently estimated that this will cost 142,606. That's fine. I do want to start heading back to the Argon Wharf though. Although, what I really want to do 
is I want to get a use for our ore. Because this guy, he can't sell his ore. And honestly, I'm going to shift him over to ice. Because no one over here buys ore. So this guy's kind of useless currently. We're just going to drop all of the ore that he's got. There we go. And he's just going to start mining some ice. And now we should be making some money off of this, which we weren't doing previously. Now, I don't really want to flood the market with ice, no pun intended, but we don't really have anywhere we can sell that currently. We would need to probably set up some production over here. And currently, the only production that we have available is being able to produce energy cells and meat. And I'm not super interested in producing either of those currently. But we should have this trade coming in quite soon. Which will be ideal. It's quite a large trade, actually. And we'll be able to use that to construct this storage module, which is exactly what we're going to do. There we go. We'll now accept this estimate. And we'll see if any of these start coming in. Hopefully they do. So you can see that we are per currently buying hull parts, energy cells, and Claytronics. And it looks like nobody is bringing them in currently. So the price is currently there. Okay. I mean, we do need to make this profitable for the NPC haulers, or we can bring it in ourselves utilizing this ship here. Now, we can't do that with hull parts, if I recall correctly. Let's select our Mercury Vanguard. Because I'd be interested in purchasing hull parts. But yeah, it's not letting me buy them. Sadly. They're not offering Claytronics here, but we could go pick up our Claytronics somewhere. Let's see, we need how many of these? 52 Claytronics. Okay, I know that Claytronics are sold... Actually, we can just do this. Claytronics. Claytronics are sold over here. For about 2,000 credits. So we can pick up 51 of these. Which is almost all of our money. That said, we can now plan our build over here. We no longer need these Claytronics, so we are going to not purchase these. And in fact, we're just going to leave this empty for right now, and we're going to grab the energy cells on the way in as well. So, our... Our freighter is heading up to get the Claytronics right now, and then the energy cells. Energy. There we go. Technically, energy cells. I think you have to spell out the whole thing. Oh, I did not realize that this map was rotatable. Okay. Energy cells. Yeah, 15 credits over here. 16 credits now. And how many do we need? We need... 103. Okay. But yeah, we can't bring in the hull parts ourselves. So we are going to then have the Mercury Vanguard come over here and purchase 
103 of these energy cells. 103. There we go. And if we open up the information, we should be able to see the queued orders here. Where's this docking at? The Claytronics factory? Okay. Yep, it buys the Claytronics, and then it buys the energy cells, and then it trades for build storage. Or rather, trade with the build storage. And it puts in all the Claytronics and all the energy cells. Perfect. So that should now mean that the only thing that we need here is the hull parts. This is currently estimating that the hull parts are going to cost how much? We need 189 of them. And we can just max the price there. And then we can do something along the lines of this. And in theory, oh, hello. My pop shield decided to fall over again. In theory, that should mean we still have a buy order for one Claytronic. Did I buy the wrong number of Claytronics? I may have. The Mercury Vanguard has how many Claytronics? 51. And we needed 52. Okay. Mercury Vanguard? I'm actually going to pause the game here. Because... I'm going to clear the Mercury Vanguard's orders here, if I can get it selected again. Mercury Vanguard, information, behavior. We're going to clear all of this. It's going to go back to the Claytronics factory. And it's going to buy one more Claytronic. Confirm. After that, then it's going to come down to this solar power plant and purchase in, how many was this? Let's see, it needs, it, and we do have the uh, hull parts coming in, so that's perfect. We need 103 energy cells. Okay, so we are going to have the Mercury Vanguard come over here, and we are going to trade with this for 103 103. Confirm. Excellent. And then it's going to trade with the build storage. Like so. Okay. Got that under control. Now how many of these hull parts are currently coming in? It looks like all of them. So that's perfect. Now we're not going to need all of this funds, or all of these funds here, this funds. <laughs> we're not going to need all of it, but we should start heading back to the Argon Wharf. We're going to undock, Autopilot. and we're going to head on over. The autopilot is struggling to leave this bay. Okay. It looks like it got it under control. And now we're going to see if the autopilot decides to fly us straight through an asteroid belt or not. Or rather, straight through an asteroid. Because that would be awkward if it does. It looks like our path is reasonably clear. But the reason we're going back up here is to try to locate a construction ship. That would be ideal to find one. Are we currently docking or undocking? We're docking. Okay. 
So we're picking up another Claytronics. That's fine. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the autopilot is currently doing, but you know what? I'll pretend it knows what it's doing. Because I wanted to check in. Looks like the Mercury Vanguard is now docked. That's fine. And it looks like this guy is mining itself up some ice, which is perfect. What is the current skill of our other ice miner? About two stars. Okay. So we're getting close to a three star pilot for auto trades. And then let's check in over here. Okay, this high tech trader is on its way in. That's fine. We are overpaying for these hull parts, by the way. I am aware of this. And I'm doing that to make this go slightly faster. But for right now, we are going to head on over this way. And it looks like our freighter is making its way over to the solar power plant right now. Which is ideal. That'll take it a few minutes to get there. And we will get to the Argon Wharf soon enough. Entering system. Nopalia's fortune. Excellent. Once you get on these super highways, it goes pretty quick. Even if you're this guy. <laughs> what is the pilot skill here? Still only one star. Entering Sad. System. Mists. But we're probably going to have to transfer crew at some point anyway. So our freighter should be up here reasonably soon. And it looks like that high-tech Mercury Sentinel is about three minutes out, which is fine. Now, we don't currently seem to know about any uh, builder ships. Which, I mean, ultimately, we need to get our hull parts. Epically failed. What? Did it just say autopilot epically failed? I feel like it did. Okay, whatever. Well, as I was saying, uh, we do need to find a construction ship, but we aren't going to be able to afford to hire it system. until after this trade has concluded and we take back this construction money. Entering so I'm actually not sure how much this is going to take from this pool. So that'll be interesting to figure out. Looks like our freighter is currently on its way over and will be entering Grand Exchange soon enough. Entering system. True sight. So that's good. Why are we searching for scanning arrays? Let's stop that. And of course, since we sent entering our... Uh, since we sent our freighter on a bit of an errand... In theory, this should allow the price of advanced electronics over here to drop off a little bit, because we've kind of driven that price up. Entering system, Argon Prime. With our profit taking with that. And off we go. Excellent. We're still apparently two minutes away from the... Uh, Trader there. Autopilot disengaged. Okay. Stop them. Who's a thief? I don't know who the thief is. Argon Wharf. Okay. Let's request docking, docking permission. Granted. There we go. And we're just gonna dock up here where it's nice and safe. Oh hello. I'm uh I'm just gonna get out of the way. There we go. Okay, so 
So we'll dock up right here. Just get this close enough for the docking computer to take over. There we go. Excellent. We're pleased. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. That's nice. I'm pleased to welcome me aboard too. So the high tech trader is now apparently one minute out, and I just want to see if we can find that guy. It doesn't appear to be any of these. Okay. Well, our trader is going to dock with the solar power plant and then come put that in. So what we really need to do right now is we really need to hire ourselves a builder. And it would appear that this one is or was busy. We no longer see it. Hmm. I was hoping that we'd see one up over here. Sad. Well, there is a construction vessel actually right over here, apparently. I'd like to select it and have it queue in, but apparently that's not an option. Okay, well, the high-tech the high tech trader should be arriving here momentarily. Excellent. And what's our freighter up to? Our freighter is currently, if I go to information, undocking. Okay, so it'll be arriving over here with our claytronics and energy cells momentarily. And the high-tech trader is currently docking with our station. Perfect. Okay. And it looks like that is currently done. So we will confirm this, get our money back, and ideally, we hire ourselves a construction ship. Like, I don't mind waiting. But uh, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to find us a construction ship, and next episode, we will perform this research. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.